Governor Ron DeSantis joined Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran in a roundtable discussion about reopening schools. Speaking at Winthrop College Prep Academy in Riverview near Tampa, the two praised the school's plans for reopening and giving parents a choice on how their children return to school. I'm very much supportive of parents having the option for distance learning. I think they got to make decisions that they think is best uh, for themselves um, and for their families. And, um, and we want to continue to empower folks with that. Uh, but we also Meanwhile, the largest teachers union in the state is suing the DeSantis administration. The union claims it is unconstitutional for the state to force on campus learning five days a week as COVID-19 cases continue to rise. Some schools started to reopen today. Broward begins virtual learning on August August 19th, Miami-Dade begins on August 30th. And 31st. just as thousands of students return to classrooms this week, a new study shows just how easily children can get coronavirus. More than 97,000 kids in the U.S. tested positive for the virus in the last two weeks of July. According to the American Academy, Academy of Pediatrics, the Children's Hospital Association as well, the researchers found a 40% increase in child coronavirus cases in the states and cities that were studied during during those two weeks. At least 86 children have died as a result of the disease since May, according to the new report.